Welcome to Top 5, I'm your host, Ayaz Akhtar. Technology has infiltrated every part of our lives, and now it won't stop until you are assimilated and resemble one of the Borg. Today, we're taking a look at the Top 5 Weirdest Wearables. What defines something as weird? Let's say it either makes people look at you oddly, or it makes you question its existence very easily. Now this list is about stuff that was actually available beyond the prototype stage. Let's get to it. For number five, we're using the Wayback Machine to look at an old wearable that I actually own. It's the Fossil Wrist PDA from 2003. It cost $250 at the time, and it ran the popular Palm OS that also powered personal digital assistants like the Palm Pilot. Really. Digital calculator watches were relatively successful with the nerdy crowd, but this thing was a special kind of nerdy. It had a small resistive touchscreen. The clasp housed a tiny flip-out stylus so you can hit the tiny targets. If you think smartwatch wearers get weird looks now, imagine how people looked at me as I was poking a tiny screen with what appeared to be a toothpick to find email. Look crazy. The whole concept of VR headsets could easily qualify as weird wearables. There's something incredibly antisocial about placing a blindfold over your eyes. It's more insular than putting on a pair of headphones. Let's specifically talk about the Samsung Gear VR. You clip in a Galaxy Note 4 in it, and then view the screen through the headset's spherical lenses and experience virtual reality. It's supposed to be pretty cool, and Samsung's even made a version for its Galaxy S6 line. In theory, it's kind of clunky since you need to use your own phone, but at least it currently exists. Compare that to the other VR headsets from Oculus, HTC, and Sony, they're still not available. At number three is Ring by Logbar. It's a Bluetooth ring that works with your phone and lets you control things with the wave of your finger. The wearable is the product of a successful Kickstarter campaign and people actually received their rings. Unfortunately, people were less than happy with how Ring worked, or didn't work. The demo videos may have overpromised what Ring could do right away. Snazzy Labs called it the worst product ever made. Also, Ring is a bit chunky, so maybe the functions would be better served by a wristband, maybe something like the Thalmic Mayo. The narrative clip is a little clippable camera that takes a still picture every 30 seconds, and it's our number two weird wearable. Because you clip it on, you can get some interesting viewpoints on the world. What does life look like from a lapel or a belt level? If you had the clip, you'd know. The clip also doesn't have any video or audio recording capabilities and doesn't sync to your phone, it syncs to your PC. A new version of the clip promises to fix all of that. Who knows, maybe the clip's actually awesome. After all, if you don't have to whip out your phone to take pictures, you can just enjoy your life and then review it later, thanks to the clip. And the number one weird wearable is Google Glass. Introduced in 2012, it was made available in 2013 through the Google Glass Explorer program for $1,500. Featured a camera to take pictures, video, or even live stream, Glass could recognize voice controls and show you information in Google Now like cards. As a nerd, I was rooting for this thing. Look at it. A computer that attaches to your head. I might be biased because I'm already wearing glasses. What's one more piece of glass to look through? Glass is no longer available, and it is reportedly being reworked by the head of Nest, Tony Fidel, otherwise known as one of the fathers of the iPod. Did I leave something out? Is the ring weirder than glass? Let me know on Twitter. I'm at Ayaz. For more top fives like this, visit top5.cnet.com. Thank you for watching.